really quick lesson guys on rasters versus vector the one on the left is the raster and the raster is made up of rows of predetermined pixels so each one of these little squares here is a pixel that contains a set amount of data if i make this really 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 big it's only going to get so big before those pixels start to show up when a piece of laser software begins to process this it's looking at each of these pixels and deciding whether or not to mark it this over here is a vector vectors are infinitely scalable so i can zoom in on this more and more and more and more and you're never ever ever going to see pixels here because there aren't any it's a point that is here and then there's another point down here and another point down here and another point down here and it uses the relations between those points to generate the image that you're looking at even though both of these look like a vector this is the only true vector this is a raster image just because it's black and white does not mean it's a vector it's a good candidate for tracing into a vector now, tracing is super easy i'm not going to get crazy into it this is just inkscape it's free software see all you need to do is right click you can do this in lightburn as well trace bitmap if you need to make adjustments you can make adjustments to the threshold here to try to get what you want to be traced actually traced and then you hit apply and it goes ahead and generates the vector for you. If you're doing this kind of stylized artwork where there are clear engraved and not engraved areas, tracing and saving this as an SVG and importing it into Lightburn is always going to yield better results.